Hey guys, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, I've been requested by the Grand Crew and Admin to create a little short tutorial to show uh, the differences in the uh, HUD collimation on uh, Surface Pack 3.6 and onwards and its effect on the landing procedures. Uh, well, actually it doesn't have any effect. Uh, the improved guidance in this Service Pack also uh, allows us to uh, perform the approach very precisely and very easily and that's what's probably uh, making some trouble for uh, for people because the flare itself is very very low and uh, might cause uh, early touchdowns if you're not aware of it so let's just run through uh, real quick as you can see I'm on my uh, landing view as I call it uh, this is how the way I fly the hack you got the HUD, you got the two instruments and you got almost the full HUD, you got the altitude and the airspeed and that's enough for me uh, the way I get to this point is very quick is very easily uh, I just center the view zoom in just a bit so I can see the entire HUD just move with the hat and that's it now uh, the main difference uh, in the HUD collimation is the way it works and interacts with view so I'll do something I haven't done in ages uh, because it didn't work that well on previous uh, service packs at least not easy enough for me to uh, run through and feel natural with it what I'm gonna do is turn on my Trek IR as you can see the HUD interacts with the way my head moves pretty seamlessly right now you can see points of it so that and all I just need to see the entire view and glance around the instruments. Let's just unpause it and run a bit so the uh, HUD, uh, the final guidance will kick in. As I ca you can see, I'm running uh, speed brakes on auto and uh, pretty much just flying a triangle. In a minute now, uh, the HUD will jump. Oh, by the way, we're flying STS 41C, and this is the first landing video I'm doing on uh, dirt on the dry lake landing bed. So as you can see the diamond queue has jumped, all we need to do now is try to keep the diamond centered. Uh, as you can see it's guiding us towards the center line and the glide slope on the same time. All we really need to do is keep it up in line and uh, ready to go. Uh, now uh, it's fairly simple to procedure just to follow, let me just move my head a bit closer. Okay. Uh, I just fly the diamond as I said nothing fancy nothing true the only thing you need to notice I mean the landing gear only thing you need to notice is uh, the position of the nose cross and the crosswind okay let's declutter and our flare will start now I'm just staying with the pull bar that's it center the, the diamond nothing more nothing less just keep it centered now the speed brakes will automatically adjust lower the landing gear we need to place the uh, the nose cross roughly in the center of the runway even though we're drifting a bit to the right uh, so it'll be easier to uh, run after the landing as you can see I'm just holding off until speed I feel comfortable and just lower the nose slightly touch down now uh, just lower the nose a bit steer for the center runway and because it's 41C no shoot brake for me just uh, simple wheel brakes we'll let it run along the center line nothing big nothing fancy as you can see nothing to it except for the uh, Trek IR now working flawlessly uh, as contrast to what it used to do uh, back on previous service packs where you need to, to adjust your head a bit more precisely again no she, de no she deployed no need to do anything let's just wait for the stop and that's it nothing big nothing complex just fly the diamond and you'll find yourself sitting on the runway safely
So have a go with it and uh, have a blast. I'll catch you up all on the uh, next service pack, uh, which ground crew uh, keep releasing teasers on Twitter. So uh, it looks like something uh, we should be looking forward to. So we'll just have to be patient and see what they what plans they have for us. Until next time, so long.